Well, the big picture is um, it's a it's a hardware approach to security of a high assurance systems, which are you know systems that have very strict. Um, you know, you have to enforce a very strict policy about where information can flow. Like for a bank system, you want to make sure that you know a private key doesn't flow to the public network. And for an airplane, you know, flight control system, you want to make sure the user, you know, network doesn't conflict with your flight control. So, traditionally, people kind of work at you know the operating system, and applications, and programming um, programming language level, trying to you know ensure these 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 policies at a higher level. But we're actually designing hardware that enforce these policies. You know, at the gate level. So then we kind of build up from that, and then in doing so, you can kind of at every stage from a bottom-up approach build a very, very secure system that's you know provably enforces a, a one of these policies. So. The Department of Defense is, is 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 very interested in this hardware security stuff, just because these programming languages and the operating system abstractions can't really. I mean, they obviously don't count for all the flows in hardware that could potentially happen. And people design hardware for low power. Um, Performance, things like that, and they generally don't consider security when they're designing their hardware. So this kind of approach lets you build a piece of hardware and say this is provably, you know, not going to leak, you know, leak your key to the network and, and things like that. So, um, you know, Department of Defense, any and you know anybody that really needs a very strict, very strict uh, guarantee about where their information is flowing will will benefit from this. So.